I have a domain name along with a wildcard subdomain setup pointing to my web server's public IP address. I'll run websites over HTTPS through my web server. HTTPS is the secure version of HTTP and it's basically a requirement for any self-respecting website at this point in time. It provides privacy of communication between visitors of your website and the web server itself. So folks in the middle can't listen into the conversation or muddle with the communication between the two. Also, browsers have always given like green locks or whatever UI to signify that a website is secure. Now they're introducing warning UI. It might say no secure in the URL for a website that doesn't provide it. So just do it. Certbot is a piece of software that comes out of the Let's Encrypt project from the EFF. And it is amazing. It provides you free HTTPS certificates and it updates them automatically. Did I mention it's free? This rules. You, have to, you used to have to pay for HTTPS certificates and it was totally bonkers. They've solved this problem completely. Thank you so much. So I'm on their website here and I'll fill out, I'm using what web server software? I'll pick none of the above for now because I'm not sure yet. And pick my system, Ubuntu 16.04. They're gonna give me some installation commands to install CertBot on my system. So I'll log into my server and run these commands. Certbot is now installed on my system. They offer a few ways to negotiate the interaction between my computer that has to prove that it owns this domain name with the Let's Encrypt servers from afar. And the way I will use is this standalone method, which will put up a standalone web server on my computer to talk to Let's Encrypt and create these certificates for me. So I will run this command and add back or forward just slash D and then a list of the domain names that I want to be on the certificate. So I'll copy this and then dash D curious directory.com with no subdomain. I know that I'm going to set up one website next subways near me. So I will include that with a dash D option in front of it and run this command. It is asking me for my email address, so I'll toss that in here. And it's asking me to agree to terms of service that I'm not gonna read and just agree to. And it's asking me if I would be willing to share my email address. I think they already have it, so I'm gonna say no. And now it's running some kind of challenge where it's setting up that server, talking to the Let's Encrypt server. The Let's Encrypt server says, oh cool, I can talk to curious-directory.com on your web server, computer. You own it, cool. I'm gonna give you these certificates. Let's see what Certbot did. It creates a private key file and a full chain file, which includes the certificate in this ETS Let's Encrypt live your domain name here folder. I can take these to the full chain and the private key file and supply them to a web server and have it start running a web server over HTTPS, which I have in a file HTTPS server here. 
And this is some basic boilerplate with Node to run an HTTPS server. I'm supplying it the private key. I'm supplying it the full chain file, which includes the certificate. And it'll just respond with a little message. Since the HTTPS port 443 is a privileged port, I'll have to run this with sudo before it. And now that that's running, I can visit next subways near me .curious directory com. I can visit the main domain curious directory com. Serbot rules. Oh my god, this is so easy. Thank you so much. Um, and something else to note is that I'm running Ubuntu 16, which uses System D. And when I installed Certbot, Certbot added a timer that runs twice a day to check if my certificates are fresh and up to date. And if they need to be renewed, it's, it's just gonna do that in the background. So I'm set up for HTTPS, maybe for life, and I'm ready to add some applications onto my web server.